Now that you know a little bit about UNA Canada, um, Multimedia and Multiculturalism, the specific initiative that brings us all here today, um, comes off a project before it called A Sense of Belonging. Um, a Sense of Belonging was um, a project that looked at um, identity issues faced by youth all across Canada and um, engaging youth through a series of activities. During those activities, we had conversations with youth in high schools, youth, at-risk youth, youth who were considered marginalized or coming from ethno-cultural communities, about what elements of their day-to-day -day lives they felt isolated their perspectives, felt that they, how, what were the things that they felt were lacking in terms of giving them a sense of belonging? And a huge thing that came out was that they were saying was that what they were seeing on traditional mainstream media what they were seeing on TV, what they were hearing on the radio, reading in the paper, didn't adequately reflect what their lives, what the lives and what they understood Canada to be, right? Oftentimes when you're reading the paper, we talk about Canada as being this like amazing bastion for multiculturalism, but the way that's portrayed is often very tokenistic. You're not seeing proportional representation of the diversity in this country. Um, and that's kind of what it boiled down to for a lot of youth. So they felt really disconnected. They didn't. They felt like a sense of belonging was really lacking, and they felt like a media was a key piece in that. So we thought, why don't we put together this project that looks at making that happen, looking at where those gaps exist, understanding collaboratively how how we can work to really to really fill those gaps. So this project is just starting off. We've just hired our regional coordinators. Lara is probably the one that you've been coordinating or communicating with. Um, we're operating in seven major cities right now. So in Vancouver, Calgary, Regina, Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal, and Halifax. And we've been going from, from city to city in those regions, having roundtables and having events to sort of get a regional scan, get an understanding of in what ways are ethnocultural communities being engaged with the media? What is media literacy like? What kind of activities can we do to start increasing that dialogue? Um, the first thing that we, we have done is uh, we're launching an internship program this month that will looks at bringing, um, we're doing a two-stream internship, internship session with uh, youth from ethnocultural communities who are recent grads from communications or media programs and we put them with a, a mainstream media organization as well as a community media organization. So they get a chance to be sort of behind the scenes or in front of the scenes, understanding how content is produced. Because it's, it's one thing to have all these great activities and to engage youth, but how do you make that sustainable? How do you make that last after a project runs out, right? So in a, in a way, we're trying to get them behind the camera, get their fingers in and give them an actual foot in the door. Another part of, of what we're trying to do is to understand how media is changing. Media is obviously like a huge force in consciousness, but I mean, we've all seen with the like amazing rise of social media, how that's just changing the way we connect with each other, with, with the way we connect with ourselves, the way we connect with current affairs. Like a youth is not gonna pick up like the Globe and Mail and start like rifling through what's happening with, with elections, but they are gonna like go on Facebook and they are gonna be seeing what their friends are tweeting. Right, so how does that play into all of this? Like, what is what is that force, and how do we use that as a tool? So, it's not just about youth as well. It's also about creating a space for for generational looking at how generational divides are also affected by the media. So, going into communities beyond youth, going and talking to their parents, to their grandparents, their aunts, and to their uncles, seeing how they how they construe the media, if there's a way that they feel that they could be better heard. So we have these roundtables. We're looking at building activities with existing organizations because there's there, are, especially in Vancouver, it's it's amazing because we were in Halifax last week doing something similar to this, and the landscape, as you can imagine, is so different. That the conversations, the the words, the ways that people understand the media, it's so different. Um, and coming to Vancouver, there's it's a right place. There's so much happening in terms of uh, in terms of youth empowerment, in terms of in terms of uh, arts and culture and diversity, but how do those organizations start to talk with each other and how can we partner with them to facilitate that dialogue? Um, that's kind of what m and is all about. Um, so what we're hoping to, to understand today is how you guys, you all bring with you such important perspectives and such important experiences and we'd really like to hear about how you understand these issues particular to this region, to yourselves. We encourage you to speak really openly um, and don't censor yourselves, we're not, um, we don't have any, any preconceived notions about anything, and we're just looking to you to, to learn.